something that could be helpful. So their, their law enforcement for purposes of the prosecution is trying to cast a broader net now. So they do want to talk to people, like I said, that were there. There were a lot of people, we've heard countless stories of people who were in the Walmart. Um, I heard one story of an employee who was there, heard the shooting, was able to get out of the store, and then some random stranger who happened to be in the parking lot let them get in the car, and they just drove off with this total stranger because they were just trying to get away from the scene. So those are the people that law enforcement now wants to be talking to. Um, I don't know if this is true or not, but I've heard this said. Suppose there's an entity like a hospital whose mm -hmm. bills are not being paid by someone who lives in lives. Mm -hmm. So I heard it said that they can actually ask the county to issue some type of uh, not cross the border uh, order to CBP. That's what I've heard. Is there any truth to that? I've never experienced that personally. In the meeting, it came earlier today. It came up, um, and one of the other advocates said that she had seen occasions where people had had their border crossing cards revoked um, for for failure to to provide some kind of responsibility. I think that that for those situations, people really. I think that's where I think some of our advocacy as attorneys can really come into play and in advocating with the hospitals for those. Um, I know at least two of the hospital bills are now at 1.5 or 1.8 million. Um, the likelihood that anybody from Mexico would ever be able to pay back a debt like that is slim to none, right? And even some of these funds, I don't know that the Community Foundation Fund is intended to pay that hospital bill. Probably not, right? And so I think that that's where we as attorneys can be a really great advocates for those families so that they don't have those things happen. Because what we don't want to have happen is somebody who was shot then having their border crossing card pulled, and then they can't come to court because because their their hospital bill never got paid. So, um, I like I said, I've never had it happen, but um, this other advocate said that she had heard of it happening. So, any other questions? No. Can I just make a comment. I I was one of the immigration attorneys in Paula, and I think I speak on behalf of all the nonprofits and immigration attorneys. If you have clients or anyone who come to you who are scared to maybe go and talk to law enforcement, we are all ready and willing and excited to accompany them just so they can feel safe and so we can make sure that they are protected and reporting what needs to be reported um, just so we can all come together and get this taken care of. Thank you. Sure.